Hello and welcome again to this GD Express screencast with me, Teacher Marco, here at Phuket Pals. Um, today, we will work on another GED RLA topic about text structures. Earlier, I made um, a brief explanation about another structure, compare and contrast. And today, we will talk about chronological order. So before we begin, let's first have a review about text structure. So like what I said earlier, structure serves as a framework um, for an object and it's similar through text because without a structure, the text will not be organized. So in here it says text structure refers to how a piece of text is built. All right, so it's the framework of the text. So writers use different structures to build their ideas. It depends on the purpose of the text. So there are some structures that will not work um, for some purposes. Okay, um, you cannot tell a narrative or a story by using compare and contrast. And sometimes you would need to make use of chronological order. Okay, and each text structure communicates ideas in a different way. I think that sums up what I said earlier. So every text structure is unique. And today, like what I said earlier, we will talk about chronological order. So just a bit of a trivia. So chronological came from um, the word Kronos or the name of the father of Zeus. So Kronos is the god of time. So with that itself, that gives us a clue that this um, organizational structure is focused on texts that are talking about time. Okay, so it means that when we use chronological order, the text happens in order or events happen in order. Okay, so it uses words like first, next, later, then, finally, after, that, before, etc. So, um, some students might ask, so what is the difference between sequence and chronological order? They're somehow related to each other, but chronological order focuses more on events rather than steps, rather than simple steps, okay? So that's your clue. So it's focused more on events, or you might find words that are really related um, to time, like months, dates, hours, that is also, or years, that is also another clue that this text is uh, organized using chronological order structure. Okay, so with that being said, why do you think an author would use chronological order to write about this frog? Possibly, a writer can use that in relation to this frog if the writer is trying to discuss how the frog um, that started from a tadpole right, uh, turned into this particular amphibian. Okay. All right, so... Let's proceed with an example here. 
And I want you to take a look at the transition words, how they are used. Have you ever made macaroni and cheese? It's simple. First, boil some water and make some macaroni. Then, make your cheese, a uh, cheese sauce. After the cheese sauce is ready, mix it with the macaroni. Bake the entire thing in the oven. Finally, it's time to eat. So this is an example. Now you might ask that these are just simple steps. Yep. So we can conclude that sequence is another kind of chronological order. Okay. But if you will be given like, of course, your GED RLA is multiple choice. And if you are given a choice between chronological order and sequence, I suggest that you choose sequence for this particular passage uh, because it's more specific, okay? Let's focus more on the steps rather than events, okay? All right, let's proceed with... Uh, two examples here. Now, one of the uh, one of the passage here, one paragraph, is using chronological order, while the other one doesn't. So, I'll give you a few seconds to check this, uh, check these passages or these paragraphs, and I want you to identify which paragraph is in chronological order so uh, you can pause this screencast and have some time to think about it okay i hope that you gave yourself some time to think about or to think which paragraph um, is using chronological order structure Let's continue. So the second paragraph is of the one that uses chronological order. Can you tell me why? Of course, take a look at these clues. 1681, it talks about time, it's a year. They use words like later, after that, and today. So, um, I hope that I was able to help you with this lesson about chronological order today. It's a very simple way to spot if a passage is using chronological order. And uh, I highly encourage you to check out more of our videos. I will be talking more about text structure in future videos uh, or screencast. And uh, please stay uh, tuned in our channel. And always check it out and stay notified. All right. So um, if you want to know more about our programs, uh, please do check out um, our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash look at pals or you can also check our website that is look at pals dot org and thank you so much for your time again see you next time bye, -bye.